Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to teach you guys how I stripped my hair color, retouched up my roots, and then dyed my hair purple. I know it's a lot, um, I hope you guys take some information from this video, but just know that I'm not at all a professional. I followed videos on YouTube, I grabbed things from other people telling me like at the store at Sally's Beauty Supply. So I don't want you guys to think that this will work completely for you first off and um, this is just my experience with my hair. My hair is kind of rough so it took me a long time to get to this point. Some things that you guys will need when you guys are getting ready to dye your hair is definitely wear a shirt that you do not mind getting all messed up and ragged and bleached. So wear like a black shirt preferably or whatever shirt that you don't care about. And then other things you will need are a mixing bowl and a, one of these brushes so that you can mix all the stuff in there like your bleach powder and your developer and your hair dye. We'll definitely need like um, something to measure um, the developer. So I got this from Sally's. Everything I get is from Sally's because that's the only hair beauty store that I always go to that always has everything. And then you will definitely need to wear gloves to protect your skin um, from the dye and the bleaching from drying out. And that's it. And that's all you need. So if you guys really want to know like my hair color story, you can totally go back in my Instagram and you will see all the different colors that my hair has been. But recently my roots had grown out really long, like 2-3 inches, and I finally decided that I needed to do like a color correction and root touch up. So this video is going to be about that, about talking about how I got my hair and my roots like one color, almost one color. So first off, I had a big chunk of roots, so I had like, my roots were grown out for like, for like six months, and like you're really supposed to touch up your roots like every three months or something, because um, you'll have like different heat bands or whatever. I was just lazy and I didn't want to just touch up my roots all the time. It was already enough work me like retouching up the hair dye in my hair color, because every time I washed it out, or I, every time I showered, it would just wash out and bleed, so I would have to put color in to like keep the color on the bottoms. So recently, I decided to, that I would touch up my roots. So what I first did, or touch up my hair in general. So the first thing I did was I tried to strip all the hair color out of my hair because I had like purples and blues. So the first thing I tried um, to strip the hair color out of my hair was using the vitamin C head and shoulders method and that worked pretty well. But the only thing is that you have to do it a couple of times before you get a light enough. So I was too impatient and I didn't do it that way. The second thing I tried um, to strip the hair color out of my hair was using Color Fix, the one and only Color Fix. For Color Fix, I just use part one and part two because a lot of people say that the, the last part, which is the lotion, actually makes your hair darker, so I decided not to use that. And the color fix actually stripped out a lot of the color in my hair, but it smelled really bad. It smelled like eggs, which everyone says it smells like, and it really does. So I did that. I did that twice because I used half the bottles first just to see if like that would take out enough of my hair color which it took out most of it but the blue um, didn't like completely come out and the rest of my hair started turning pink like the purple parts started turning pink so I did that first and then I realized that the a lot a lot of the color didn't come out enough third thing I tried to do to strip out most of the hair color was a bleach bath. So for the bleach bath, I used um, Quick Blue Bleach and then um, some developer and I also put in some shampoo so it kind of diluted the bleach and I left that in for about, I want to say 45 minutes. And that took out most of the color and it 
helped lighten up a lot of my hair, my my ends. So for my roots, um, I had to bleach my roots like three times to get the the lightest color I could get because my roots were super dark. And um, when you're doing your roots, you really want to stay away from um, getting it really close when you have like two, three inches of root growth. And I had to start like right about there. And then you would bleach down to where the um, your roots meet the other part of your, ha your hair. You would wait to apply the bleach closer to your scalp because it processes faster as the heat comes off your head. It processes the bleach a lot faster and gets that part lighter faster. So you really want to put the bleach where um, the cooler parts of your hair would be, which is like away from your scalp, and then apply onto your scalp. So after I bleached my roots with Quick Blue Bleach and 30 Developer, I toned my hair with Wella T18 Lightest Ash Blonde, and that helped a lot. Um, but it was still a little yellow for me. I really wanted it really light because the ends of my hair were practically white from all the like dye that I've been putting on it and bleach bathing and lightening up the hair. Before I um, put the purple dye in my hair, you need to make sure that your hair you add a little bit of heat to your hair so that like the hair follicles open up and will accept the hair colors. So when I dyed my hair, I used these two products, the Color Ion Brilliance in Lavender and the Manic Panic Purple Haze. And for my roots, I decided that I went, wanted to go for a darker root and so that like when my actual roots grow out, it will be, won't be like a drastic difference. So I decided to color my roots, the Purple Haze and Manic Panic, and the rest of my hair in lavender. And it actually turned out really nice. I like the transition between the dark purple roots to a lighter purple. I don't mind it. I actually like it a lot because um, when my hair grows out, the dark color will kind of fade into my actual natural root color. For hair care, I actually use so many products. It's ridiculous how many products I use. But for this color of hair, I'm using the Ion Color Solution Shampoo and it's sulfate free, max protection for all types of color treated hair and vegan and paraben free. So I'm using that to keep the color, the purple color in my hair. And when I shower, I do shower with like cold to lukewarm water just to keep the hair follicles closed so it keeps the hair color in. And when I am conditioning, I mix the conditioner with a little bit of the purple haze so that like you just put the conditioner in your hair and sit in the shower for like three to five minutes. I mean, that's not that long. I like during that time, I like wash my face, wash my body, whatever. And it'll help like re dye the hair a little bit. So that's what I use in the shower. And then after the shower, I like to put argan oil all over like the ends and like my roots, whatever part of my hair is dry. I'm using the Numi Argan Oil and I love this. This came with a set. A curling set that I bought from them and I'm in love with it. Like, I like to keep my hair super healthy because of all this like bleaching and um, all this chemical chemicals in my hair. So I like to do a conditioning mask once every two weeks. So I like to use this one and only argan oil. You dampen your hair and you put this in your hair and leave it on for like 10 to 15 20 minutes whatever however long you feel like you need another good thing to use on your hair is coconut oil um, coconut oil is amazing I use it for a lot of things like removing makeup re moisturizing my face with my cuticles with my hair especially the hair the hair works really well with coconut oil and it smells good and it's natural so those are my tips for hair care and hair dyeing. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it's helpful for you. If you do want to go to purple hair, just know that it's going to take a couple months, couple weeks, a lot of um, maintenance, a lot of preparation for your hair. I am so excited about my lighting. Oh my gosh, it's taking me so long to figure out the best lighting and the best the best the best place for me to like set up my camera and everything and sorry about my wrinkly like backdrop you know 
figure it out later. But for a while in between, when I was like stripping my hair color and dyeing my roots um, blonde, I was like, nah. Mm -hmm. I cannot be blonde ever. So like once I got back to purple, I was just like, oh my god, I feel so normal again. 